Whoa, hello. You surprised me. My dish here is a bit full, so I'm not going to be able to stir up my soap in this pretty glass bowl. I'm going to have to use an ice cream bucket, which isn't as flattering to look at. In here we've got our six oils. Olive oil, coconut oil, canola oil, castor oil, lard, and cocoa butter. I believe that was all six. This is going to be a four pound batch because I'm not exactly sure how much I need to make to fill the molds I want to fill today. Before I pour in my lye, I'm going to show you my delicious concoction here. In here we've got my fragrance oil. It's two ounces of black raspberry vanilla. Then you may have guessed that there is turmeric in here, just one teaspoon. There's also four teaspoons of white kaolin clay, powdered sugar, sodium lactate, and goat milk. I put a little bit of uh, turmeric in here, just one teaspoon, because I didn't want it to be white. Because I'm not adding any other colorants. So I'll kind of mix that in. We'll mix that in so it's beautiful and smooth. This lye water has a pinch of Tussa silk fibers in it and it is disintegrated from the hot lye. Did you see that? Did you see that? Wow! Oh my goodness, I've never experienced that before. That's from the turmeric, but man. Well, I wasn't intending for my soap to be orange, but that's okay, I guess. I mean, it's only one teaspoon. Turmeric is a wild thing. So, I have four of these. And I'm going to fill them all up. I'll see how full it gets. Okay, here we go with our orange soap that I hope lightens up. I wasn't meaning to fill it all the way because I need to add two little Scottish Terrier embeds to this. Little Scotty dogs into my soap. I need to take my gloves off. My second part of the plan was to put a little heart with Micah. Looks like the little Scotties are looking at each other. So now you see why I didn't want my soap to be white, but I did not intend it to be orange. I'm very curious how much this will lighten up or if it'll stay dark like this. Alright, so I'll be back for the unmolding soonish. Well, we've got some soda ash. I have never tried to steam my soda ash off, and I'm going to try that today. All right, I got my old iron, an old Black & Decker. Let's see how it goes. I mean, unless I just don't know what I'm doing, which is extremely possible, it didn't really help that much. Anyway. All righty, let's unload these. Now, got these little heart sprinkles. I didn't have these when I was making my soap. My original plan was to do a little drip of red mica and then run a toothpick through it to get that little heart design. But my batter got too thick to do that. So, <clears throat> while I was at the store, saw these, and I'm going to try them and see how it goes. Press it in there.
And I press it all the way as deep as I can. And that's that. So I'm going to do that with all of these and then I'm going to bevel them. Did you notice that my orange soap isn't orange anymore? I'm actually really grateful. It turned into a very natural looking color, which is perfect. Okay. This is our final product. Wasn't real impressed with my steaming with my iron on the uh, soda ash, but that's all right. No big deal. That was my simple Scotty Love soap. Thanks for watching.